Hi, I am Max Alejandro Gomez Sanchez Vergaray from Lima, Peru. I designed and led the application security program during the digital transformation process of one of the biggest banks in Latin America, training more than 2,000 people in secure software development using OWASP Cornucopia. And today, I want to show you how I use it in Agility to ensure security from the beginning. Before I tell you how I use it, I'd like to review what the SDLC looks like. Here we can see what a typical SDLC looks like, integrating security practices and activities into each of its phases. Now, when we talk about agility, the situation becomes a little more challenging due to the dynamics of the process. This is how it is often seen when considering security in the design. We begin with a general analysis, where user stories are explored and then refined and prioritized in sprint planning. This is where the architecture diagram used for the traditional threat model usually comes into being. For an agile SDLC, identifying security requirements there is often too late. This is where the magic happens. And to understand that magic, I would like to show you two concepts that I rely on to get the most out of this great tool in agile software development process. The first is the abuse case model. The use case based threat model or abuse case model aims to model for each use case a negative scenario that could be represented by behavior undesired by the system owner and thus identify which security requirements would prevent that undesired behavior. For example, here we can see how an attacker can abuse use cases. The second concept is a variant of a Scrum called Secure Scrum. What does this variant of a Scrum seek? The methodological integration of user stories with security requirements ensuring that security requirements are part of the system requirements from the identification of user stories well before the creation of the software architecture. Security marks and security tags are used to make this association. In this example, we have one user story that has one security mark. This security mark relates the user story with an abuse story that has one security tag that relates one security requirement with the abuse story. So at the end of this exercise, we can relate the user story with the security requirement. Today, in this video, I want to tell you how Cornucopia is the perfect tool for integrating security from the beginning. Let's play for a while. The rules are the same. What changes is how we associate the cards with each of the user stories. Come with me. We begin by shuffling the cards and dealing them to all players. Ideally, we should deal everyone the same number of each of the cornucopia domains. Once the cards have been dealt to all players, the game begins. In our case, we play with a facilitator who can explain the rules of the game and, during the game, also explain any cards that are more difficult to understand or might generate controversy. Each player arranges their cards and carefully reads each one before choosing which one they will explain to the other players. We put the epics on posits so we could associate the cards that apply to each of them. Each player explains their cards and tries to convince the other which epics or user stories they relate to and why. The interesting thing about this dynamic is that we all come to understand what can go wrong and what situations we wouldn't want to expose ourselves to. Integrating security into agility is often very challenging due to the dynamic nature of the process and the limited time available. This methodology adapts perfectly to the current time frame making the identification of security requirements more efficient and effective. I'm sharing a great piece of advice I once received. It's much better to have a good, 
ready-made thread model, done a perfect and finished one. At the end of the game, you will have some user stories integrated with cornucopia cards and with application security verification standard as and security requirements. The association needs to look like that. And to manage security requirements and the defects that may arise if they are not properly considered or implemented, we'll conclude with this short traceability matrix. Here we have the user story, all the security requirements that are considered in this user story as a security task and all the weaknesses that are related with every single security requirement that we identified before. I hope you enjoyed this innovative way of modeling threads with OWASP Cornucopia as much as we do. Try it and enjoy the benefits of integrating security from the start into agility. And remember, in depth we trust.